Hello guys, uh, good evening guys, myself uh, Valdi Manoranjan here. Yeah, today we are gonna learn how to make a bed shade uh, in Maya. Bed shade in Maya without using any reflectivity in ray tracing or without connecting anything on the reflector color by just faking it out by using utilities. So in the example scene, I'm gonna use uh, just a normal bottle here and uh, for wet pass, I think I'll be rendering on the wet pass separately with the utilities and the shaders. And we'll be using the basic color pass so that you know and the AO pass and then the wet pass which is gonna be rendered on the different layer. And then we are gonna comp it and see how it's gonna be achieved on three different layers. How we can achieve that on comp basically. And uh, for, uh, let's select the objects and then let's add it on three layers. That's the sorry, sorry, it's the layer for this five stick layer. And let's name this layer as a diffuse and then AO and we are going to name this as wet. Now for that, now, now for diffuse I'm going to use a normal ambient light and I'm just going to decrease the shade size and just get the flat color pass and for AO I'll be connecting a surface shader and we'll be connecting the surface shader and we'll be connecting the MIB into the surface shader. So I just gonna keep some random values here with the samples and uh, increase my spread and uh, just keep it go and increase my fall off so I can get more amount of depth in this part in basically in this area. So and the next is the wet and for wet I'll be using an override and I'll be connecting uh, I'll be connect I'll be using those shaders which has specularity and uh, why I'm going to use those shaders which are specularity because I'm going to render out with light. Uh, if I'm going to render out with just using the utilities and the map, we can do that. And then I'll be using just the lamp button. But uh, with lights, it's going to give me an extra additional attribute that is called as image specular. And I, if those specular attributes are there in the shaders, so I can get more and more specular and highlights on the overall objects. So that's why we are going to use utilities by the way, but still. Now we can get more control on, we can get more and more highlights. So that's the reason I'm going to use those shaders which has the property of specularity. Like for example, let's go with linear. Okay, and I'm going to use a normal light. I'm just going to call a direction light, and I'm going to render this off. Okay, and let's keep a random, random values like you know, to 12 and. Let's keep this one because my object is complete opaque, it's not transparent. So I'm, it's, it's no, there's no transparency here that I need, I need to pass through this object and then I'm going to like pick it. So that's why I'm not going to use any of the data here. And let me check the render settings. Like, you know, re remember guys, if my render in my render setting, if the reflections are zero, then in the attributes reflected color or the reflected DVD, it's these two attributes are not gonna work. So if this is if this is one, that means these two attributes are gonna work. But still, this tutorial is about how you're gonna fake it by using the utilities and how you're gonna connect the utilities. So we are not gonna use any of the reflections. We are gonna use the light with with the shader which has the property of speculars and and I'm an icon. So now I'm gonna just gonna just render this off. So it's gonna look. Let's see. Okay, this is how it looks. So it's just a grey bottle with a little bit amount of specular in it. So this is not the actual wet look what we are trying to achieve here. For wet look, we need some highlights and uh, some fake fake uh, reflections I would say and then uh, a kind of a pattern which is going to give us a wetty look that is kind of a noise pattern. So we are going to achieve all this by using and connecting the utilities. So first thing we have to remember like you know in that pass it contains only it contains like you know black and white information. So we are not going to render it on grey right. So let's decrease the color to a little bit amount of black. Uh, I would say let's let's keep the color a little, little bit here and uh, I'm not going to use this so I don't need this. And I'm going to graph network. Going to graph. Now, how we are going to fake it by using utilities? Like the first utility I'm going to use is the environment ball. Environment ball is kind of a fake projection environment. It's like an HDR ball, I would say, an IBL ball. And it's just like a fake projection. That was a 3D container, guys, so I just deleted it. I don't need that. 
so uh, and this is like i would say it's going to project your ball just like an ibl image base the, the same ball which we are using here um, it's kind of like that it's just not similar to that but it's just kind of a little bit similar like it just projects the entire map uh, as a shape of a ball and then it projects according to the roundness according to the volume of the uh, models i would say okay and then i'm gonna connect the file node here because i need to call in some textures right so i'm gonna use an hdr map i already have an hdr maps here a lot of a lot of HTML. that's for example let's see kitchen so i'm gonna connect the kitchen and as i said we have a, a, a ray tracing of 002 so this two is not gonna be working so there is no use of connecting and map ball to the reflector color and so i'm gonna connect it to the in can or to the ambient it depends uh, let's let's connect it to the in can now i can see that all my colors you know the actual colors of the HTML map has been visible and it's kind of overall giving me a flat overall kind of you know, giving me an overall flatness on that entire shader so how i'm going to decrease this now i'm going to make this look like like it's a black and white information like this map is going to act as a black and white information for that so i so i'm going to use an, another utility just to decide the map that is uh, remap hsp i would say in the utilities tab i would go into remap uh, i can say remap hsv or we can use an rgb luminance i would say luminance yep luminance see so both does the same thing but the only difference is like you know in remap hsv you have an extra control of value that is you can decrease the overall value or you can decrease the highlights of the maps by playing with the graph here of which which ranges from zero to one so but in rgb luminance it doesn't have that so if i connect this to the value and the moment i connect this to the in can it's gonna give me a pop-up the reason the reason why because this is a scalar utility a scalar utility so whenever a scalar utility is getting connected to any vector rgb or vector attribute it's gonna give us a pop-up of the connection editor that means already i've connected the emd ball in the value so i'm not going to use the value i'm going to use the output of the value that is the out value and i'm going to connect it to the incandence rgb so now you can see the map has been decided right but how i'm going to decrease it i'm going to decrease overall control without affecting the original color balance of the map so we don't have that control right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the rgb luminance i'm not going to use this i'm just going to use a normal remap just and i'm going to desaturate the entire map and just going to randomly just drag and connect to the end color but now it's not asking me because this is a vector utility if i go into the other tab here i can see there is an out color right out color rgb is been connected to the incandence color incandence rgb so this is a vector utility which is connected to the vector atom so it's not going to ask for any pop-up but still now this is kind of giving me an overall enhanced field so now i'm going to decrease it like and i'm going to decrease the value i'm just going to drop down the value range here I'll keep it minimum and my specular kinds of looks pretty like you know you need a sharp specular for this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna decrease my eccentricity to one point let's see 1.88 and i'm gonna just increase my specular here and i'm gonna just keep my specular look to by default let's not affect that let's not play with that and the moment i render this out this is how it's giving me but this is kind of projecting the entire map here but this is not what I'm actually achieving and this is not what actually it's not giving me a wet feel something is missing the missing part what I'm seeing here is the bump the noise the noise pattern defines that, that kind of gives a fake uh, you know we could see a little bit amount of levelness or we can see a pattern that can be visible on the render so the utility in my utility we already have a pretty good utility called us inside to textures noise so i'm just going to call in noise and uh, i'm going to increase the ratio you can see the ratio like the overall ratio of the pattern of the noise can be decreased or can be increased at some x range so i'm going to also increase my frequency ratio here and there are pretty cool noise tabs that early noise and wave for waters and uh, 
no i'm below below the reason why i'm using below because i'm an additional control here i don't want to increase the density i can decrease it i want to increase the spottiness that or the overall spottiness you can see i can decrease this too or i can increase or decrease randomly i can keep it anyways so so but in polyn noise i don't have any of those controls so better and sort of polyn noise i'll be going for below and uh, let's keep let's increase the tiling i think this tiling is not working for me so i'm going to increase my tiling to 2.2 now you can see the tilings and the repeated patterns here and i'm going to connect the noise with the bump but the moment i connect this you can see that is it's going to give me a rock feel right so i don't want this i'm going to decrease my bump to like 0.02 and it's that it's still there you can still see in the shadow and now i'm going to render this out so after render how it's coming up up okay somewhere we are missing out i think the speculars are not coming up that much right that is because of my uh i would say the in can connection that is kind of eating up my specularity so i'm gonna increase my specular role of here plus what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna connect one more node called as contrast that is in utilities or oh, instead of connecting a contrast node i can just connect it to the i can just play with the graph here right i can decrease more of my value here and i can just decrease the the gray part the overall grayness in the image you can see that that's happening in the shader see and that's how it's gonna give me a specular feel now let's keep this image and let's render this out yes now i can see some kind of changes in the shader see this guys now this was with the gray that is and this is like decreasing the overall grayness or the overall luminance in the image which is just popping out bringing out the uh, the bright part and but still my bright part is looking gray so i'm going to increase that is like i'm going to go into value and i'm going to increase this value so you can see those white the gray white the gray part which is which was there in the image has been turned into white so but still i'm going to keep this minimum and now i'm going to render this out and now if i see this it's kind of giving me a, a pattern that you no know, that somewhere i'm nearby somewhere but don't worry about this guy this is after comp it's gonna it's gonna give you a pretty cool feel but this is way too much right this was way too much so anything which is too bright uh, you know, we cannot control it so it's better to give something which is to the minimum level like you know so whatever enhancement we can do we can do it on post comp by using uh, any of the softwares like new after effects or fusion so anything which is too bright and then it's hard to control that right so it's better to give it on minimum level so if he wants to increase the composite or scan increase those values so let me just decrease the value and just keep it minimum how it's gonna look okay okay this should work out fine I'm not gonna keep this. I'm gonna go into comp here, fusion, fusion. Okay, I think this should this should work out. I think this should be working out. Uh, let's see if if we need something more in the highlights. And I think we will get back to the render and the shader and the attributes. And then we can increase. So if things can be handled in comp, I think I think this should be working out for the right. So now just uh, we are going to render out the rest two passes. So like uh, going to go into file. Uh, what I can do is I'm going to keep this. I'm going to render out the AO. And I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to render out the diffuse. Okay, cool. And I'm going to save this image like uh, new folder 
forward copy this part I'm gonna say this is diffuse view and wet and now I'm gonna pre-comp I'm gonna just you know just basically comp all those layers what I made and let's see how that gives up the feel so this is my color diffuse flat color scale to fit I'm just gonna connect it sorry and I'm gonna keep it on multiply mode and this is gonna be my wet layer and I'm going to keep this on screen mode but still it's giving me an overall grayness somewhere in the scene it's not giving me the actual color of this right so what I'm gonna do is but still it's not giving me the sharpness and the wetty feel like in the wet field you have those sharpness right something is missing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a sharpen tool to sharpen out this now this is somewhere nearby but still how I'm gonna decrease the overall highlights and the and the whiteness in the overall image I would say and I'm just gonna connect a CC node and uh, I'm just gonna decrease the gamma here cool and, and I'm also gonna increase my contrast so I can see the overall wetness and then to blend this out I'm just gonna not decrease my blend here so let's let's keep it let's give a little bit better now this is somewhere i would say you know it's kind of nearby and the patterns are too too visible and the bumps are too visible understood so if i want to render and decrease the bump i can go into the utility and uh, i can just decrease out the bump or i can just play with the graph here if you want to increase the grayness i can increase this if i want to decrease the grayness i can decrease the overall grayness overall uh, i would say the overall grayness and the, the range from black to white i can decrease that right and uh, so if I want to decrease just the white part, I can just go with the value here. So this can be adjusted because it, this this value tool is a pretty cool tool. So you don't need to connect a contrast in this. And uh, or if I want to decrease the overall bump, I can just decrease the bump from that. And uh, so we are almost like you know somewhere nearby achieving a kind of a wet feel that we needed. And I can also decrease increase the contrast here more and plus decrease the gamma. So it's just giving me uh, a normal depth, a normal color pass with A and it's going to be with wet. So imagine this has been, uh, it can be controlled guys, you know, you just have to play with the utility, like you can just play with the inclination or I would say like in the shader, you can just keep on like rotating the maps randomly if you want to keep eye space, it's going to project on the entire HDR map according to the volume of the model according to the volume of the model <coughs> sorry and uh, so if I want to change any of this inclination that's going to rotate my map inclination so, so you can see it's rotating your map right so if you want to rotate your map and randomly check which part of highlights or which part of thing is pretty good working out for you so you can keep any of those and just render and just you know override and then you can just work out and play with the play with it it's all about playing with the utilities that's it see now this is kind of giving a different feel here at the moment i don't so if i want to keep this like i'm going to override my red pass and i'm just i'll see uh, it's up to you guys like how, whichever way you are convenient and it's all up to the artistic point of view how he is convenient of you know making it i think the sharpen is too much i'm going to decrease my sharpen blend here and uh, you can see the overall sharpness has been decreased and it's so almost near what we what we want to achieve as a witty feel or as a kind of like you know something is came out from uh, water i would say or anything which is liquid so any comments if you feel like please feel to comment and uh, critics are mostly welcome and uh, thank you for watching this